everyone's preparing us for cannibalism instead of just like normal disease. Yeah, what's with that? What's with the cannibalism push? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm more prepared for a zombie apocalypse than anything else that happens in my life. Yeah, you know, there's this the, the whole zombie thing. I think that has to do with some kind of like self hatred type of thing. I mean, because like you're like dead but alive, and you kill. I mean, I, I it's a dehumanized. It's like a dehumanized thing. state of, but it's still a human being. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I'm I'm always kind of like I'm always these. I don't get the whole. I mean, I get it. The whole disaster fixation. I mean, when you when you take a look at just, I mean, I don't know. I I'm like 26. So I don't remember, I don't know what the geopolitical scheme was like on a day-to-day -day basis in the media, you know, in the 90s. Uh, I was watching, you know, like Nickelodeon and stuff like that, but... There's the night cartoons. Yeah, yeah, Nick too. Yeah, yeah, Snick, yo, Snick. Snick and all that, all that, Clarissa, all that good stuff. But, um... <laughs> Thanatos this, complex. Thanatos complex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a than. It's a <clears throat> complex. Like there's this whole. And the economy's dying. Yeah, everything's dying. Everything is dying, and it's just kind of like, well, this is so boring. You know, the the, <laughs> the, the, the disasters are boring. The wars are bore. I mean, I'm not saying that they're boring in the sense like I'm just they're saying trivial. like it makes me think of that book, The Banality of Evil. Like, this is all just so lame. <laughs> when you consider, like, the, what consciousness is actually capable of and what your own, like, like you're, you could devote it to anything. And there's so many people out there who are just hell-bent on devoting it to, you know, I mean, like, you know, order out of chaos, in other words. I mean, just to, just to give it a blanket state, like, here's your bread and circus and here's your order out of chaos. Everything is a disaster. And just sort of like, why aren't we doing the Star Trek business right here? Yeah. You know, the Star Trek business is on point. The Gene Roddenberry had it down, where it's like, okay, no, we're going to better ourselves, we're going to end different kinds well, of prejudices, well, but, you know, at the same time, experience this new cosmic one, we'll end disease, we'll end hunger, and all that kind of... But with the computer age, none of that is impossible. In fact, the only thing stopping it are pre-internet models. All the pre-internet models are actually holding back the real internet society. And I don't mean, like, cyborgs walking around with Google Glass. That's crap. <laughs> That's crap. When you consider, like, the fact that you could use, um, you know, one of those, I forgot what they're called, um, but the idea is that you put in a chip or a game or something like that, and a processor scans it, and then it puts out a piece of hardware, it designs a piece of hardware that no human being could ever do. Like, all our cell phones are designed by computers, like, through these efficiency algorithms, so it's kind of like, if you set up what you needed a city to be, you know, kind of like, I don't know, Venus Project-ish, um, you know, you set up what a city needs to be, you throw, a, you tell the computer, all right, give us the best city you can. It's going to design you one that's, like, way more efficient than, like, this medieval. I mean, a friend of mine came in from Germany. He looked at all the street wires that we have hanging from the streets. He's like, this is medieval, man. You know, like, why isn't this stuff underground? My electricity went out here in New Jersey. And I'm like, we don't do that in Germany. So, I mean, I'm kind of... I'm bored. I'm honestly really bored by what passes for civilization in the Western world. It does nothing for me. You know, that's a rant. And uh, and kind of that that reminded me of something Slavo says. It's like um, oh, okay. I'm gonna adapt it slightly. Is we can imagine star. We can imagine the Star Trek society. We can imagine like okay, let's just. For, for starters, money is gone. Like everyone's, there's no war on the planet. People are just out in space, like bettering themselves. Hey, people can imagine that, and they can imagine the world ending. Right. But they can't imagine the end of capitalism uh, or the end of yeah, like, the current Western Hollywood type. Yeah, model. or any ideology made in the last 100, 120 years. Like we kind of had our breakthrough. Like what? Uh, like with Keynesian economics or even communism. Like like these are the best ideas <laughs> out there. Like. I mean, with the internet and all this stuff and 3D printing, it's just sort of like, are we even going to need money? Robots are going to take over our jobs. Do we even need, like, a political class anymore? Like, what are they doing? They're just stopping the pirate party, which is what should exist anyway. So what, what, what's the point? And 